one of the main reasons that I did the MBA was to figure out, okay, what is it that is, uh, I, sh I really should be doing for my career. And coming to, M coming to James B to do the MBA, I met some amazing professors who really put me on the right course. The flexibility of the program helped me do subjects I wouldn't have otherwise done in other programs. Uh, and I realized that my greatest strength is in marketing and strategy. So James B helped me pivot my career from engineering to marketing. And uh, that's where I'm working now today. I think for, for being uh, successful in a career, especially after MBA, uh, I would say there are two, two different sets of skill. One that I call them technical hard skill. Uh, these are like the basic stuff, strategy, financial analysis or whatnot. Those are important. But I think what's more important than that is uh, those soft skill uh, that I learned during my MBA, what I call them, the art of negotiation and uh, communication how to be able to participate in a decision-making process and contribute to an unbiased decision-making. Currently, I'm working as a partner in a real estate marketing and sales company in Toronto. And without the JMSB MBA, there's no way I could have accomplished this. The technical skills I learned in the classroom and the confidence I gained from my professors and classmates has really allowed me to pursue this dream and to overcome the self-doubt that I had initially going into the field of entrepreneurship. My current job is actually marketing director and uh, JMSB was instrumental in me reaching that step in my career. I personally think it's early for me to be a marketing director, but it's an amazing opportunity to learn and to develop my skills, to build on everything that I've learned from JMSB and to bring it to a company to show value and to really drive initiatives that make sense not only academically but strategically. Uh, the career before the MBA and the career after have actually stark differences between them. Before my MBA I used to work in the IT sector as a consultant and uh, post my MBA I'm a lecturer, I'm a small time real estate investor and a financial consultant as well. And this change has been coming into picture because of uh, the JMSP and the opportunities which it has provided to me. And I've realized that there could be more than one thing which could make me happy. So I'm pursuing towards those goals and teaching has always given me a lot of satisfaction. Currently I'm working with the immigrants and helping them integrate into the society. So that gives me a lot of happiness. To add to this, my presentation and oratory skills have improved tremendously because of the presentations and the group activities which we've been doing for the case competition. And all this plays a very important role in teaching. So before the MBA, I worked in finance for a large manufacturing company. And when I graduated the MBA, I got a job in IT consulting. And I think that the real beauty of the MBA program is that you can look for a job that had nothing to do with your previous work experience. And I knew when I quit, I, uh, when I quit finance to do my MBA, I was looking for something more strategic, something that would challenge me a bit more and I think the MBA gave me that opportunity to jump into consulting something completely out of my realm of previous experience and I've excelled at it so I really have the MBA to thank for that. 